Hey there, welcome to the 11th session. In the previous session, we have created the first machine learning program in which we have not performed the evolution on the model. In this session, we will evaluate the model and print its accuracy detail. For this, I have copied the session 10 files into the session 11 folder and updated namespace. We will work in this folder throughout this session. Open the demo class. Delete the existing code for the prediction. The model's evolution means check its accuracy. For this, we need to use the test data set. I have already created a list that have a few data about input model. Let me paste this. We will use this list to create a test data set. Use the load from innumerable method. We will get the matrix as a result. And use the context.regression.evaluate method. We need to transform the ATS data before we are passing for the evolution. And specify the label column name that is salary. Now we got the metric. So print the value for R square. Mean absolute error. Mean square error. root mean square error and loss function update the program.cs file for executing the demo of the session 11 save all the files and run the project Here we got the value near to the 1 for R square, which indicate that model's accuracy is good. Each trainer and algorithm has a different kind of result for evolution. For few of them, value near to 0 is good, and for few of them, value near to 1 is good. We will learn more about the measuring the accuracy of the model in the later session. Let's see what we have learned in this session. In this session, we have used the additional dataset for evolution. Like training dataset, we have loaded from the enumerable. To evaluate the model, we need to call the evaluate method of the trainer. Within that, we need to pass the transform dataset. And model that we are going to evaluate. We might get the different value for each time when we execute this. The same will also apply for the prediction. Each time value might be varying by the friction. See you in the next session.